in the name of Jesus right now. Lord, we are here right now, Father God, seeking you right now, Father God, on this prayer line, on this lifeline right now, Father God. Because, Lord, we know, Father God, you are the one, Father God, we can call on this afternoon, Father God, in the times of troubles of need right now, Father God. Lord, we are here right now, Father God. Lord, we are here right now, Father God, exalting your name right now, Father God, magnifying your name right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus right now. Lord, we ask you right now, Father God, to forgive us, Father God, for our sinful ways and our sinful thoughts. Lord, we know we are not perfect, Father God, but Lord, we strive, Father God, each and every day, Father God, to live holy, Father God, to walk holy, Father God, to speak holy right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus right now. Lord, we can't thank you enough right now, Father God, for waking us up this morning, Father God, clothed in our right mind, Father God, with our mind on you right now. Lord, we can't thank you enough right now, Father God, for turning our life right Right now, Father God, and placing our feet, Father God, back on solid ground this afternoon. Lord, we can't thank you enough right now, Father God, for the clothes, Father God, on our back, Father God, food on our table right now. Lord, we can't thank you enough right now, Father God, watch over our finances right now. Lord, we can't thank you enough right now, Father God, watch over our loved ones this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we ask you right now, Father God, continue, Father God, to be with us, Father God, we with you, Father God, each and every day, Father God. Lord, we ask you right now, Father God, to bless this afternoon. Father God. What's the ones, Father God, represented this afternoon, Father God, on this prayer line, on this lifeline right now, Father God. Lift them up right now, Father God. Lord, hear their cries and hear their moans today right now, Father God. Lord, we are seeking you right now, Father God. Lord, we are knocking at your door right now, Father God. Because, Lord, we know, Father God, we can call on you right now, Father God. Lord, we know, Father God, there's power, Father God. There's power in your name right now, Father God. There's healing power in your name right now, Father God. Heal right now, Father God. Set free right now, Father God. Deliver us right now, Father God. In the name of Jesus right now. Lord, have your way right now, Father God. Lord, have your way right now, Father God. Lord, we are here this afternoon, Father God. Counseling, Father God. The devil is Simon right now, Father God. Lord, we're going to counsel, Father God. That was a Simon right now, Father God. Lord, we're gonna we gonna call on you right now, Father God. Because Lord, the devil cannot touch us right now, Father God. Lord, the devil cannot touch us right now, Father God. Lord, there's too much power, Father God, on this prayer line, Father God. There's too much power, Father God, on this lifeline right now, Father God. Lord, we're gonna call out to you right now, Father God. Lord, we're gonna call out to you right now, Father God. In the name of Jesus, right now, Lord. Lord, we ask you right now, Father God, to continue, Father God, to lift up our leaders today, Father. God. Bless them in a mighty way today, Father God. Oh, Lord, bless them right now, Father God. Lord, bless their children today, right now, Father God. Lord, I ask you right now, Father, watch over, Father God, our prayer warrior leaders today, Father God. Lord, bless the Burnett, Father God. Lord, bless the Ivies right now, Father God. For they on this, Father God, on this prayer line ministry right now, Father God. Lord, we ask you right now, Father God, continue, Father God. Let them, Father God, desire their hearts right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus right now. Lord, we ask you right now, Father God, continue, Father God, to watch over their children as well right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, watch over our mothers of Zion today, Father God. Bless them right now, Father God. Oh, Lord, bless our mothers of Zion right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus right now. Lord, lift them up right now, Father God. Lord, bless all the Snuggle Rock family, Father God, represented this afternoon, Father God, on this prayer line, on this lifeline right now, Father God. Lord, we are here right now, Father God, interceding, Father God, on your behalf right now, Father God. Lord, this is my prayer to you right now, Father God. You continue, Father God, watch over my family today, Father God. Watch over my children today, Father God. Watch over my grandkids today, Father God. Continue, Father God, to lead them and guide them right now, Father God. Continue, Father God, to fill them up this afternoon, Father God. Fill them up with your love, Father God. Fill them up, Father God, with your joy and understanding right now, Father God. Fill them right now, Father God. From the crown of their heads, Father God, to the sole of their feet right now, Father God. Lord, this is my prayer to you right now, Father God. Watch over, Father God, my wife today, Father God. So right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus right now, Father God. She travel abroad, Father God. So right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus right now, now, Lord, lift me up today, Father God. Lord, I know I'm not perfect, Father God, but I'm striving, Father God. I'm striving right now, Father God. I'm striving right now, Father God, to live holy, Father God, to walk holy right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus right now, Father God. Continue, Father God, to let me stand vertical, Father God. I'm movable right now, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise God. Praise God.
<clears throat> I'd like to first read First John, starting at the fifth verse, the fifth chapter, 14th verse. And it says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desired of him. First, giving honor to God, to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, I just come before you with a humble and grateful heart, with a heart of <clears throat> repentance, Lord, for anything that we may have, that I may have done that was not that was not approved in your sight. Lord God, I just want to say thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for waking us all up this morning, giving us a yet another opportunity to be a good servant, Lord, to do as you have asked us to do our assignments <clears throat> and to move forward <clears throat> in, in ministering your word to one another, Lord, helping to guide and lead all peoples to the truth and to you, Lord, because we know that we cannot do anything, nothing without you. Father, I just want to say thank you for the many, many blessings of healing, of grace, of your mercy, for the hope and joy that you bestow upon each and every one of us, Lord. Lord, I just want to, we can't thank you enough for all the many, many blessings that you have not only shown us, but our families, our friends, acquaintances, co-workers, Lord, everyone of this world, Lord. And we come to you today on our representing ourselves and on the behalf of others, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for the many individuals that come to encourage us, Lord, the daily encouragement that I just want to say thank you specifically to uh, Deaconess Smothers and to Deacon Burnett, who on a daily basis sends out words of encouragement, sending out your word, Lord. Nothing is stronger than your word. It gives us guidance. It gives us love. It gives us comfort. It gives us joy. It gives us healing, Lord. And just the outpour of the blessings that you have for us, Lord. Lord, I'm, like I said, we're standing in the steadfast, not only for ourselves, not only for the members of Solid Rock, Sweet Unity District, Sweet Unity District, or NorCal, Lord, but we stand in representative of each one of our brothers and sisters of this world, those that are suffering, suffering from many different ailments, Lord. We know that there's illnesses, diseases, and things out there, but we know you as a healer. We know that you can take care of all of that, and it's not just our bodies, Lord. We ask that you protect our souls, heal our souls, give us it, the whatever it, that we need so that we can carry on, Lord. And mental health, Lord, we know that that is a strong thing. The devil comes in just to mess with our minds and have us think it all kinds of things. Lord, thank you for the clarity that you bring. Thank you for the truth that you bring. Thank you for the light that you bring. Lord God, I just thank you that you are using me to do your work, Lord. And I just hope and pray that I am doing it in the manner that you would have me to do. Lord, we know that there's a lot of activities that are coming up. We know that there's a lot of individuals traveling, Lord. We ask for your traveling grace. We ask for that you continue to put that hedge of protection around each and every one of us as we go through this world, Lord, as we go through each day, each week, each month that you have allowed us to continue to exist. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I ask for a special prayer for our leaders right now, Lord, for our own pastor and first lady, for the bishop and uh, bishop, bishop's first lady, Lord, and just all the ministers and elders and missionaries and deacons and deaconess and every person that is just serving in our organization, Lord, look after them, Lord, keep Keep us all in the center of your will so that we know that we are doing what it is that you would have us to do, that we can make a difference in this world, this world that is just full of turmoil right now, Lord, a world that's full of distrust, disharmony, Lord, the selfishness that is just going on, Lord. We, we know that no one can come in and take care of that but you. Lord, and as we come, like we said, we know that we can come before you right now. And we do this on a daily basis. We come before you, honoring you, Lord, praising you, God, for all of your power and infinite wisdom. Lord, we know that we cannot exist without you. Lord, I thank you for being you every single day, all the time, Lord. You are always good. And I am so grateful for that. 
Lord, I'm grateful <clears throat> that I have a home, Lord, that I feel safe, Lord. I feel secure. I feel protected, Lord. And I just would pray that each individual out there could feel the same way, that we can trust in you, that you will take care of everything. All we need to do is honor you, praise you, follow your commandments, Lord, and love one another. Lord, help me to do that. Help us all to do that. I want to honor the Burnett's and the Ivories for continuing, just the, the continuance of being obedient, Lord. And just for everyone that has shown up on this prayer line, Lord, just thank you. This is our lifeline. We know that this is our lifeline. This is where the prayer warriors come together and we come on one accord, asking and praying on behalf of others. Lord, I just thank you for this opportunity to come before you, to come before my brothers and sisters and just continue just to stay in my life and lead me and guide me. I ask for all these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, Deacon Collins. Okay, I see that you're listening. Amen. Missionary Edmondson, if you're available, can you come forth, please? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What a friend we have in you, Jesus. All our sins and grief do you bear. What a privilege to carry everything to you, God, in prayer. Thank you, Jesus, that we, you are our advocate. You are our high priest, our deliverer, the great I am, that everlasting father, the prince of peace, the king eternal, the one who reigns forevermore. Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for the activity of our limbs, Lord. We thank you for our hands, our feet, Lord. Lord, we can see, we can hear, Lord. We can talk, we can move, Jesus. And God, we give you glory for today, Lord. It wasn't promised unto us, God. But because of your grace and your mercy, and because you love us so much, Lord, you spare us, you gave us another chance. You gave us one more day, God, that we can make our wrongs right, our crooked parts straight. God, you gave us this day, Lord, and we'll forever praise you. We'll forever glorify you. We'll forever lift you up, God, even in our infirmities, even in our distress, even when we are going through, whether we be on top of the mountain or in the valley. God, we give you glory because you are God when you get there. You are God when you get to every situation. You are God when you get to every condition. You are God when you get to that bedside. You are God in that hospital room. You are God in that doctor's office. You are God in that school, that high school, that elementary school, that basic school, that college. You are God when you get there. And Lord, we know there's nothing too hard for you, God. There's nothing too hard for you, Jesus. You said you will lead us, your people, beside still waters. God, you said you will restore our soul, oh God. We are trusting you, Lord. We are depending on you, Jesus. You said we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit. God, help us to bring good fruits. Be a good fruits, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you said in your word, you said, come unto me, all ye that are labor." And I ever laid and I will give you rest. I will give you rest. Oh God, take every burden, God, every cares, every stress, oh God, every distress. My God, in the name of Jesus, every depression, God, we give it to you, Jesus. We give it all to you, God. We give it all to you, God. Because you told us to cast it up on you, God. Lord, sometimes we just want to be burdened down. But God, if we just, when we read your word, we just apply, God. You said to cast all our cares upon you, God. And you know the reason why you said to cast it upon you, God. 
because there are times when we can't even bear it, God. But today, God, we're going to cast all our cares upon you, for we know that you cares for us, God. We know that your hands is always outstretching, God. We know you're always touching us, God. You're always delivering. You're always healing, God. You're always setting free, God. You're always loosing, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You're always there when we need you, God. You are never too busy to hear our hearts cry. And today, God, here we are, God. Here we are before you, Jesus. Nothing in our hands we bring, but God, we just want to cling to that cross, that old rugged cross. We just want to cling to that old rugged cross, God, because we know some sweet day we're going to exchange it for a crown. God, we just want to hold on to you unchanging hand. We just want to do thus say the Lord. Lord, we want to walk the way you walk. We want to live the way you live. God, we want to talk the way you talk, God. Just to remind us, God, that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. God, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. That if we do get too high, Lord, don't let us get too high. Bring us down, Lord. Bring us down, Lord. If we do get too high, God, bring us down. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you, Lord. And more than all, God, each and every one of us on this line, Lord, fill us up, Lord. Fill us up, Lord, like the songwriter said, fill my cup, Lord. As I lift it up, Lord, come and quench the thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, hallelujah. Feed us, God. Feed us today, God, till we want no more. Fill our cup, Lord. Fill it up, God. Let it overflow, God. Fill it up with your Holy Spirit. Fill it up with peace. Fill it up with love. Fill it up with understanding. Fill it up with power. Fill it up with mercy. Fill it up with grace, God. As we offer our cups up to you, God. Fill us up, Lord. Fill us up in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, touch today, God. Heal today, God. Deliver today, God. Set free today, oh, God. Loose today, oh, God, those that are bound, oh, God. Even in the mind, God, touch the mind right now, God. Touch the mind, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Regulate that mind, God. You are a mind. Oh, God, you made that mind, God, you can see deep down in the mind. Touch that mind, Lord. Regulate that heart regulator. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, cover with your blood today, oh, God. Every sin stain, cover with your blood, God. Cover with your blood, God. God, you promised you said you'll purge us, oh, God, with Isop, oh, God. Lord, God, you said you'll cleanse us from every unrighteousness, God. Cleanse us today, God. Wash us again, God. Wash us in your blood, Jesus. Make us over again, Lord. Fresh anointing, Jesus. Fresh anointing, oh God. God, that we can be where you want us to be, God. That when we go out, God, the world, though it be in turmoil, war, and all this stuff going on, they can still see Jesus in us. They can see Jesus in us. God, help us, oh God. Help us today, oh God. God, let the Holy Ghost lead. The Holy Ghost is a mighty good leader. Let the Holy Ghost lead. Let the Holy Ghost lead. Let it lead. Let it direct, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, cover us today, God. Cover each and every one on this prayer line, Lord. Go in their homes, God. Touch their family, their children, their grandchildren, wherever they may be, oh God. Cover them under your blood, God. Be a fence around them. Be that wall of protection around them, oh God. And more than all, God, don't let your saints be wanting of anything, oh God. And David said he was young. And now he's a whole man, but he had never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. We are your child, God. You promise us, God. You said you will bless us going out, bless us coming in. We be the head and not the tail. Oh, God, help us to be the lender, not the borrower. My God, in the name of Jesus, lift us up, oh God. Plant our feet on higher ground and solid ground in the name of Jesus. 
Continue to bless the leaders, God. Those that are called by your name. Lead in your people, oh God. Continue to bless them, Lord. Continue to strengthen them, Lord. Strengthen my pastor, God. Strengthen him the more, God. At times he get weak and he get weary. But God, strengthen him, God. You promise that you strengthen him, God. Anoint him the more. Touch him when he's weak, God. Lift him up, God, when he's falling, oh God. Strengthen him in the name of Jesus, oh First Lady. Strengthen her, God. Lord, the meeting that's going on this week, God. Starting tomorrow, God, I pray that your, your, your spirit will be seen, oh God. The Holy Ghost will move in a mighty special way upon your people like never before, God. That they'll save the more, God. Fill them the more, God. Let it be a meeting, oh God, in the name of Jesus, like none other. God, where you touch, where you heal, where you deliver, where you set free, where you loose, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let there be a testimony, oh God. In the name of Jesus, of your goodness, of your mercy, of your grace, of your love, and of your healing power. God, we declare and we decree in the name of Jesus. Saints will be healed. Saints will be delivered even on the slime saints that are sick. They will be delivered. They will be set free. They will be loose. God will provide for them, Jehovah Jireh. God will make a way for them. God will open windows for them. And God will give them the victory. In the name of Jesus and those who are sick. Oh God, I pray God that you are the greatest physician, the healing physician. God, that you'll touch right now, God, in the name of Jesus, from the crown of the heads to the sole of the feet, even the medicine that's going in the mouth, be it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Continue to bless us, God. Continue to keep us, Lord, because we can keep ourselves. You are our keeper the keeper of our soul. And we're asking you, God, continue to keep us. Continue to strengthen us, God. Even the young lady that's about to give her testimony. Oh, God, I pray an anointing God will come upon her. I pray that you strengthen her, Lord Jesus. And I pray that wherever she go, the world will see Jesus and her testimony, oh God. Someone will hear and be saved. Someone will hear and know that there's a God to glorify. I know that there's a mighty good God. I know that there's a miracle working God. I know that there's a God who still specializes in things that are impossible. May not come when we want him, but he be right in time. Glory to God. Know that we serve a great, big, wonderful God who never fails. He never fail us. He's a never failing God. Knowing that we serve a God who never sleep, he never slumber. A God who hears and answer prayer. A God who we can call on any time, any time, any time. He's always there. A God whose mercy never expire. His mercy is renewed every day. Oh God, bless us today, God. Bless us today, oh God. Bless us today, oh God. Bless everyone today, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the home, and the job, driving in the car, walking on the street. God, bless today, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we ask you right now, God, hear our cry. Hear our prayer, God. We give you thanks, we give you glory, and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Yes, have your way, oh God. At this time, I will be put in the hands of our leader, our co-leader, Missionary Burnett. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, what powerful prayers. Thank you, Missionary Edmondson. What a powerful, powerful prayer. How many enjoyed that prayer by Missionary Edmondson? Amen. Amen. Praise God. We thank God. Lord Jesus, this is wonderful. Hallelujah. We thank God for all that are on. We have 30 devices, but I know it's more than 30 people on. We praise God for that. 
Amen. We thank God for our president, Deacon Burnett, making phone calls and me and making texts and calling people. Amen. Because we wanted to support our own. Amen. Elder Willie Green, who is a faithful, faithful man of God. Amen. And this is his family. So because that is his family, that makes it her our family. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And we love her mother. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hi, Dr. Palmer. God bless you. Amen. We thank God for everyone that is on on today. Amen. And at this time, we're going to give the honor over to her grandfather, Elder Willie Green, to introduce her. Amen. She is a wonderful, wonderful young lady. I will say this. A few years back, when we started on Zoom praying, he did ha ask us to pray for her. He put her on the prayer list, amen, and asked for prayer requests. And she used to come on to the prayer. And she didn't put us down, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but we just thank God for how what God has brought, us, brought her from. Elder Green, it is in your hands to introduce your granddaughter. And we are so grateful and thankful for you. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all for being here this afternoon to support um, my granddaughter. Not only that, but to but to magnify the name of our Heavenly Father, to exalt his name together. Let us come together in fellowship and worship one another. I do want to give honor uh, to my daughter, Dr. La Latasha Palmer, which is Jasmine's mom. Uh, and so uh, she's uh, she's a powerful prayer warrior herself. So I want to take this moment out. Tasha, can you give us about maybe two minutes of prayer? Then we come back and then we are introduce uh, Jasmine if you can. Thank you. Hallelujah, Father God, we just thank you, Lord Jesus. We just thank you for your presence this day. Hallelujah. You said where two or three are gathered together in your name that you're in the midst of us, Lord God. So I just thank you for your presence, Lord God, where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hallelujah. And in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. So I just thank you for the joy. And most of all, Father God, I just thank you for the power and the anointing of God that's going forth on this prayer line right now. It's the anointing of God that's destroying each and every yoke and setting captives free. It's healing, it's delivering, and it's setting us free free. So Father God, we just thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in the midst of your people. You're showing yourself strong. You're showing yourself mighty. You're showing them who you are. You are such a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we just thank you, Father. That with you, all things are possible. You're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above more than we can ask, think, or imagine, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for being Jehovah Rapha, the Lord God that heals. Hallelujah. Jehovah Mapalti, the Lord God that delivers and sets free, Lord God. So we just thank you. We come into agreement that we are blessed. We are the seed of Abraham. Hallelujah. We thank you that whom God has blessed, no man can curse in the name of Jesus, that your plans for us are good, plans not to harm us, plans to prosper us, plans to give us a future and a hope. Hallelujah. So therefore we can stand fully and confidence and knowing that you are a God who is true to his word. Hallelujah. Your word never fails. It never returns back to us void. It accomplishes everything that you've sent it to do. And in the manner of which you've sent it, we thank you that we have the help from the um, angels of the Lord God most high. Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord that hearken to the word of God as we release the word of God out of our mouths. We thank you, Lord God, that your word is running swiftly without a delay. Hallelujah. And it's manifesting in the things that which we sent it forth to do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And I just thank you, Lord God. I thank you for the body of Christ. I thank you for each and every believer that's here on this call. We're not going to be distracted by what we hear, feel, or see. We're only going to be moved by the word of God. And we thank you for what you're doing in our midst, Lord God. You are doing something great. You are stirring up the gifts. You said our gifts will make room for us and bring us before great and mighty men. So I thank you for what you're doing this hour. I thank you for using our young people in such a miraculous way. I thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost on the inside of them. Your word says that those who know their God shall do mighty exploits. So I thank you, Father God, for using our young people today to do mighty exploits to 
to expand the kingdom of God for your glory. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. And I thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ covering each and every person on this call. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, Dr. Palmer. Thank you for that powerful prayer. At this time, I'm not going to prolong you any longer. I do want to uh, bring on my granddaughter. She has my great-grandson with her uh, <laughs> right there, Jasmine LaCour, a very uh, powerful young lady that's doing great things in the um, uh, in the city of, uh, of Texas. She has really progressed. She has really move forward uh, after leaving California. She has some struggles, but who knows what God can do. We all go through some time tribulations, through some trials, but God said, just call on me, call on me. And, I, and my granddaughter been calling on the name of Jesus. Once she found God in her life, everything has changed for the best because she know that we serve a mighty God. We serve a rich God. We serve a God that will make sure all our needs are met, but we just have to have patience. We have to sit in the waiting room and wait for our calling. Wait on God. It's a lot of times we want to get out there and do it ourselves. But God said, wait on him. When God says, wait on him, you got to wait patiently for him. So at this due time, uh, Jasmine, it is in your hands. Lead us to the throne. <laughs> hey, everybody. So, uh, Grandpa, thank you for inviting me on today. And uh, Mom, thank you for your prayer. Um, yeah, it it was tough. It was tough leaving California. Um, but through it all, um I just kept my faith in God. And it's easier said than it is done. It's very difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. Um, I know we always hear call on God, call on God. It's 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 a process. When you call on them, it's, it's a little bit easier to say it and do it. But when it's time to actually work it, 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 it can be hard. So it was hard. But um, leaving California, getting out here to Houston, Texas, um, it was a struggle. It was difficult. But keeping my faith in God may help me get through that. So now I am not struggling. <laughs> now I am blessed. Now, um, my home is, I have a new home with my children. I'm married. Um, I, I got married last year. Um, we have a new home. Our home is fully furnished. <laughs> um, and our kids are thriving and we are doing great things. Um, last year, two years ago, I did have an opportunity with a, a, with a new job. I was teaching as a medical assistant. I was a medical assistant instructor. Um, then God told me to move away from that. So that could be scary too. God can have you move away from something that you think is something that's so amazing and miraculous. You're like, oh yeah, this is great. I'm getting, I was getting some good money. <laughs> I was comfortable. I was happy. Oh, uh, but God said, nope, I'm getting ready to take you up to another level. I'm getting ready to move you on further. And it was time for me to say goodbye to that job. And that was that was something that was new territory for me too. saying bye to a job was shaky because now I really, really had to put all my trust in in the Lord. Um, but I did it and I have not had to go back to another job since. Um, now I use the gift that God blessed me with, which is my hands. He blessed me with an amazing gift of braiding and um, hair. So I got my cosmetology license. I graduated from school and now I teach the youth how to braid in the community. And I own my own salon inside of a beauty supply. So now I'm part owner of that beauty supply and I own the salon that's inside the beauty supply. I'm getting ready to launch my own product line. So it's a lot of things that um, now I'm doing. And the younger me did not see this. But God always saw it. So I just praise God and I thank God. Um, and um, I may sometimes forget, but I do pat myself on the back now. And I remember to clap for myself and congratulate myself because it was not easy. And then last year, this one made it a little, yeah, 
Yeah, this one made it a little bit, little bit tougher <laughs> being pregnant with him, but I made it through. And now, um, now we celebrate and I continue to work hard with my husband. He continues to be a good encouragement for me and um, a good backbone. And um, he stands by my side with everything that I'm doing in my business. So I never thought that I would be a business owner. Didn't think that um, for those of you who were on the prayer line that day when I was getting ready to leave California and you guys were praying for me, I did not think that I would be here um, doing the things that I'm doing now. So, but God has an amazing way of turning something that um, a bad situation into into something that's good and, and using it for his, his glory. So I do remember that every class that I teach, every client that sits in my chair, I do not just talk about myself. I always give glory to God. I always give honor to God. And I always put him first. And I always remind them that no matter what situation you're in, you can call on God and he will make way out of nowhere. He can always move mountains. So you now God uses me to teach and preach his word through my clients. Each client that sits in my chair, I always talk about God. So, um, and with the students as well, I always get, I don't want to say I always get, but sometimes I get students who are bullied or who are going through things in school. These are youths. These are our youth. So they're, they're going through things. And it can be very difficult. And a lot of the a lot of the times, our youth do not know who God is because their parents don't know, or they may have a slight um, knowledge from watching TV or um, attending church with a grandparent. But but some there's a disconnect. There's a disconnect. So I get to be that gap that fills that in and gets to sh share who God is with these children as well. So and then with my with me being young, they they oftentimes they 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 follow behind me and they continue to keep in touch with me and I talk to them. So with God doing this with me at such a young age, I believe that that's a blessing too. With me only being twenty four years old and accomplishing everything that I've I've done within these past years, um, with Him working with me, that's a blessing in itself. So um, I use that. I use that to bring glory to him and bring glory to the kingdom and continue to to talk about all the things that he's done for me. I'm a living, walking, breathing testimony, and I never forget that. And I always remind my clients and remind my my kids. Those are my kids. <laughs> every every child student I have, those are my kids. So I always remind my kids, you know, that God comes first and He could take anything and turn it into something new. So. Um, it's it's a journey and I, I've loving the loving the journey and I, I pray that God continues to keep using me and to keep taking me to new levels and new heights. And um I thank you all for those of who were on the prayer line that day and prayed with me and encouraged me that day and helped me that day. Um it 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 prayer works. So we see that. We see that I am living, breathing, standing, sitting here with my my third child, <laughs> my little baby boy, and we see that prayer works. And and God works and he still moves and he still hears us. So um I hope that um for everyone who's here on here today on this call that you you hear what I'm saying and that you hear God moving through me and um, you see that he's still working. Sometimes it's easy to forget that he's He's with us because we get distracted by the things that's going on around us and the situations that the enemy tries to put in front of us. Those are just, those are just distractions and they're just bumps in the road. But God is always by your side and he's always walking with you. And, um, He's there. So that's 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 my testimony. I, I came out here with nothing, <laughs> no money, no, <laughs> no, no, nothing. Just the knowledge I had in my brain and God and praying to God that I, he could do something with me. And he did it. So now I, I'm I'm doing my doing my thing. <laughs>
<laughs> so thank you, Grandpa, for bringing me on here to share that um, with with family because um, we're all family. So I I, th I thank you guys for allowing me to come on here and share my testimony with you guys. And um, with Jedediah, my son Jedediah. So this his name is Jedediah. It means loved by God. So that is another thing um, that God wants me to share with you all. Just remember that he loves you. It's so, it's so easy to forget that he's there sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes when we get distracted and things are happening in our lives, it's easy to forget that he's there, but he loves us. He loves us all. He loves you all. So that's why I named my son Jedediah because it means uh, loved by God. And then he's a reminder that God is always with you and he loves you and he's with you through everything and every situation, right? You teasing. He's scratching his gums, y'all. <laughs> but thank you guys for, for bringing me on today. And I, I hope that my testimony um, encourages you guys and gives you a little bit more faith. And even though we only need faith the size of mother, mustard seed, I hope that it encourages you to have even more faith than what you already have today. So thank thank you guys for letting me come on today. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Praise Amen. God. Let's see Amen. some hearts. Amen. Let's see some hands. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Amen. Let's give us hey. some hearts. Let's show some hearts up there for my granddaughter. Yes. Yes. Show some hearts how we can overcome some things, how we got to mount up. Yes. Mount up and, and overcome the obstacle that's in our way and tell the yes. devil everything is canceled. We counsel all the devil's assignments. Come on now. Yes. Hallelujah. So all we do is just mount up. At the, we had a scripture say, mount up with wings of eagles. Let us soar high above the sky that nothing cannot touch us. If we mount up and have the trust of the Lord on our side, let's mount up this afternoon on this prayer line. Let's mount up on our life line. Let's continue to mount up in our lives. Continue to mount up and trust God. Let God continue to lead us and guide us. I do want to get honored to my pastor. He's on this afternoon. I just yes. want to have a couple of words before I turn it back uh, over to the book. Man. Daughter, okay. thank you very much, granddaughter. Thank you for your testimony. I love you. We're always praying for you. And we just want to say that on this on Solid Rock family, we're going to keep you in our prayers always. Love you, granddaughter. Pastor, okay, before, before Pastor comes, I want to ask Jasmine a question. Amen. Um, were you homeless <laughs> at one time? Yeah, so when I came okay, out here... Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Okay. So when I came out here, I, I said it, but I didn't say it. I came out here with nothing. So I, um, me and my husband were not together at the time. So when I came out here, um, I gave, we only had one child at the time. I gave him her to him. And I told him, give me, we weren't together. So I said, give me time. I just need some time to get myself together and get on my feet. He was there through the whole thing. He didn't know what was going on with me. I didn't tell him everything so that was on me. I was trying to keep everything quiet and trying to be, I was being prideful. I will say that. So um, I came out to Houston with nothing. Um, the last, I, the money I did get, for, I got a job really quickly. I bought a car, I gave my baby to her dad and I slept in my car and then we were in hotels and he left his home with his family to come help me and we got married and we were in hotels until we got an apartment and then we got a new apartment and now we're in a, a, a town home. Well, it's like a house, but it's, they call it town homes out here. I feel like I'm in a house. <laughs> I got an upstairs, downstairs. I got a, got my washing machine. I got my furniture. I got my kitchen. I, <laughs> so, uh, but, um, yeah, I came out here with, with nothing. I had no man. <laughs> I, I was out here by myself. And then um, God, God touched his heart, touched my heart and, we got we got back together and um we worked together and we continue to work together and we build together. You know, we were really young too, so that played a part. We were young. But now that we are um growing together, we're loving together, we pray together, um we go to church together when we can. Uh, he works Sunday, so but some days when he can't go, when he can go, we go to church together. So um yeah, I came out here with nothing. 
and I turned we God helped us turn that nothing into something and and create a beautiful family, a loving family. So I'm very grateful. I, I think sometimes we gotta fall on our face and be humble and Amen. So Amen. God can lift us up. So I I don't even look at it as anything bad. I'm glad. I'm glad that I'm I'm here today and I'm standing here today. But yes. Amen. I yes. knew that was one of part of your stories, and I definitely wanted to bring that out as well. And thanks to my husband, Deacon Burnett, the president, he you were on his mind and mm -hmm. thoughts. So he wanted to bring you on to give your testimony. And because you are a blessing to all of us, young and old, okay, uh, to make sure that we put our faith and trust in the Lord, right. no matter how old you are. Amen. Right. God bless you. Thank you for coming on and joining us. You Thank definitely you. have to Thanks come back and, and join us again in prayer. Pastor, would you like to have words? God bless you all. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine, I'm so proud of you. Oh, my I'll God. Get you past so I was just telling you. my husband about you. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Is your husband with you? He's getting ready. To, he right. He's right here. Come hey, here. Come show, show, I don't know. I, I, show, show your face. Show your face. <laughs> Man, I'm so hey, proud you of you, the two of you guys. Man, you what a team. It takes a team to make it work. Um, yes, teamwork makes a dream work. But you guys, uh, you were young when you got married. I, too, was very young when, we, when I got married. Uh, uh, but it, my wife and I working together made the big difference. You guys have so much in front of you. Uh, you God has got his hand on your life. I am so absolutely godly proud of you all uh, for yourselves you. and for the fact that you pull each other up. Always remember uh, that you you need to undergird one another and, and that the, the Lord makes it very clear that the two of you are one in him. And so always build each other up, speak life to each other. Don't say anything to one another that you don't want to be repeated uh by from them to you because if you say something harsh people tend to remember that so always mm -hmm. speak lovingly to you and encouraging even in difficult times because as human beings you're going to have disagreements but make sure that the disagreements do not become personal but rather they become unified to help you both grow forward so proud of you enjoyed all that i heard uh sister jasmine and uh, i'm sorry tell me your name again um, I'm Trayvon. Trayvon. Trayvon? Yes, yes, sir. All right. Proud of you, Trayvon, Jasmine, you all, and Jedediah, and and, uh, and First Lady is on with me. She's getting ready to join with me so you can hey. see. Hey! How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you guys. What a blessing you are. What a blessing. Yes. Continue to do great things. Amen. And stay Amen. close to God. That's how you're going to make it. We're going to be married 50 years this year. Married at 19, okay? He was okay. 19. <laughs> and we're we still, still here. You can do it too. All right. Love All you, right. too. We love All you, right. too. You keep on going, growing. Keep growing forward. Remember that. Keep growing forward. Never, never forsake the Lord. Put him first. Uh, the Bible tells you in Proverbs uh, that if in all your ways you acknowledge God, he'll direct your path. And that path has an S on the end. I tell the folks at the church all the time. So so the idea is that if you acknowledge God in so much as if you lose your keys, look for the keys. Holy Ghost, help me find my keys. Holy Ghost, what's for dinner? And what should I make for dinner tonight? Which way should I take going to work? I know I always go that way, but which way should I take? How should I speak to my wife? Or how should I speak to my husband? Uh, how do I deal with the situation with my children? In all of your ways, God, what church is good for me? What what word uh, is, is coming forth that's going to build us up as a family unit? That's important. Uh, and then make the worship and service to the Lord paramount in your life your life to god first and then the family and then the church and if you do that god will always bless you and establish your goings listen i love you all i know y'all already had prayer but let me say this father we love you today and i want to thank you for this man this woman this family their children god continue to keep your hand of protection and blessing on their lives 
God, you've established them as an absolutely beautiful couple. And because of the uh, the way they carry themselves, the way they even present themselves, people are going to be drawn to them. And that what they receive from these two, when they're drawn to them, be a, an, a connection with you, that they you will use them to draw others to you. They will be a sign that points everybody towards heaven. God, use them for your glory and for your honor. And if they allow you to do that, I'm declaring right now that overflow will follow them. Thank you for that, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. All right. God bless you all. Proud of y'all. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for that. Amen. I heard overflow. You hear that, Jasmine? Overflow. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you to our pastor and to Elder Green. Amen. And to our own president, Deacon Burnett. Amen. And to her mom. Oh, Dr. I didn't say God Lutasha. bless y'all the Burnett's either. I didn't say that. God bless y'all Burnett's anyway. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you, Pastor. Amen. And to Dr. Latasha Palmer, who is a great example to her daughter. Amen. We thank God for everyone that is on. We want you to come back on to prayer. Meet us on prayer. We on prayer Monday through Friday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 noon. Tuesday and Thursday with the Ivories at 6 a.m. We have a great time on the prayer line. Amen. So please join in and come on. Amen. And we would like to open it up for anyone who would like to um, maybe have a uh, share or, or whatever. Um, your thoughts on her testimony. Amen. Courage and word. Amen. Amen. Well, I, um, first giving glory and honor to God to our pastor and our first lady, Elder Green, Dr. Palmer, <coughs> Jasmine. I'm just so proud of you and yes, stuff. Man. You know, I see so much that you're doing, how God continues to open up doors. I just saw where you were invited back to your, oh, I think high school or something to share something with the students and stuff. Oh, so wow. that's, you know, God is just using you in such a mighty way. And, and it's an encouragement to see how far you've gone, how far you've come and how many doors God continues to open up on your behalf. It's truly an encouragement to us all what God is doing in your life. And I just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming on and sharing your testimony with us and, and and I'm truly encouraged by what God is doing in your life. Amen. Amen. We praise and thank God for everyone being on. And we're going to, uh, we usually do scriptures. Amen. But due to the time, we won't do that. Today, Worship Wednesday, we always have a scripture. But I believe Deacon is Beverly read a scripture earlier. Amen. And we just thank God for all that are on. And I encourage you to join us again. And I encourage you, if you have a family member that you want to come on the prayer line and to give their testimony or give their encouraging, give encouraging words and where God has brought them from, please let us know so we can support that and bring them on to give their wonderful testimony of how God has delivered them, set them free, saved them, um, healed them. Please let us know so we can have them on the prayer line. And we want to build it up and build it up. Amen. And we thank you all for joining in. And at this time, um, Elder Green, do you have any, final you have any words? further words? Amen. And then we'll close out. I just and, want to say thank you all once again for being here and, and this on the prayer line. Not only not only supporting my granddaughter, but be here for, for the prayer line ministry as a whole. And it's what we ought to do every week, every day, five days a week. You know, be on the prayer line to lift each other up no matter what we're going through. Uh, not only to give the testimony, but just to be here to intercede on behalf of our loved ones. Jasmine, I love you. Your grandfather always praying for you. I'll always keep you in my prayers. I just thank God that he's leading and guiding you down the right pathway. Remember to stand strong. Remember to stand vertical. Remember to be unmovable. Don't let no one distract you. Continue to let God lead and guide you down the right pathway. Um, 
And on that note right there, I just want to say I love you all, Solid Rock, for being here this afternoon as well. I love my Solid Rock family. I'm here to be a faithful servant. That's the one thing you can do is to be a faithful servant and serve with gladness, serve with kindness, serve with love, and you'll be surprised. You will be surprised in your returns. God bless you all. Thank you. Amen. Amen.